<laughs> Riders, welcome, welcome to another video. My name is Michael from Mike's Bike Rides. Mike's Bike Rides, yeah. And today we're doing something fun. I've finally got all the parts to build my new hardtail bike. On a bit of a budget, but not that much of a budget because I want good parts. But I tried to source them for less than it would could have cost. Uh, <laughs> so this is going to be a half budget build, so to speak. It all started with me getting this frame that I've been eyeballing uh, for some time. It's a 65 uh, degree head angle boost frame from Radon. It's a Radon Cragger from 2020 and I got it kind of cheap. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that and then along with that comes of course a new fork, a new front wheel that fits the fork and a um, bigger dropper post with different measures of course. So a few bits and pieces that's new and a few bits and pieces that I've sourced from my old bike. So now that bike is stripped down and it's going out for sale to whoever wants a 2018 Trek Excalibur frame. This is not going to be a super in-depth how-to video. I'm just gonna do a montage of me building this bike and then we'll do the important part, go on out and ride it. I am actually waiting for the front wheel, which haven't really shown up yet, but it's supposed to come in the mail today. So I'm just waiting for the notification to go and get it. Uh, but yeah, we're in this uh, shitty uh, little room in the basement of my apartment building and uh, I can use it for mechanic stuff and, and things like that. It doesn't look good, but it's what I have, right? So yeah, the parts we're going to use are uh, my old Shimano SLX and XT brakes. I'm going to use a new Brandex Ascend dropper post. It's a 170 millimeter drop and I think that's going to be enough. My old 120 millimeter was not long enough for my L frame and this is a medium frame so it's going to be... I'm going to need a lot of drop. I didn't go for 200 mil because maybe it would be too much. But this is nice, it's a cheap enough dropper post that I know works really well. Uh, and it's pretty light actually. Handlebars and stem is also sourced from the old bike, it's a Truvative Hussefeld stem, I don't know, it's a downhill enduro stem. And it's a 35mm, uh, it's originally equipped with a 40mm this bike, but a 35 I think is going to be good enough. And also my crank set is a GXP crank set SRAM NX with a 30 tooth chain ring. I'm just going to use this and uh, it was kind of difficult to know exactly what bottom bracket I needed because it's a press fit uh, bottom bracket on this bike. Which, uh, well, I guess it's good enough. I haven't tried them, so uh, we'll see how they fare. And now for the important part, the front end. I went for a used RockShox 35 Gold uh, Right now it sits at 150 millimeter. It's a little bit much for this bike. It's originally equipped with a 130 fork, but over forking this bike could be very fun uh, since the head angle and uh, seat angle, uh, well, the geo is quite nice on this one. So uh, we'll see how burly we can get. And, and you know, if it's not good, I can just uh, change the travel because these forks, you can change the travel uh, all from 100 up to 160 millimeters of travel with uh, some spacers inside. So uh, yeah, not the best fork in the world, but it's gonna do the job and I got it um, kind of cheap. Came off a uh, Santa Cruz bike from a viewer actually. So uh, very nice. The drivetrain is going to be from my old bike and it's my Microshift Advent 10 derailleur and uh, you know cogs and everything and the shifter and uh, it's been working really nice so uh, I saw no need in replacing it. The rear wheel and front wheel are going to be DT Swiss. I have the uh, E1900 in the back, the Enduro wheel. I'm kind of a heavy guy so I need something that's sturdy and this has not buckled once. Um, I have the micro shift uh, on here, 48 tooth, very nice. And uh, you know, the uh, Shimano brakes. I might go for bigger brakes in the future. I have 180 160 now. That might be a little bit too little. It has been working for me uh, so far, so why not? And then of course I have a few bits and pieces that I need to get the build done, uh, but I'm not gonna show you everything. But anyway, I have talked enough. Let's get to building.
Yeah, boy! This build has been made up of parts from my old bike, which I don't factor in. But if we look at what I had to get for this build, we're looking at 965 euros. If we count the salvage parts, we're probably at the price point of a complete bike in the store. But of course, with some better parts than a stock bike would be fitted with. Like the SLX XT brakes, wheels, grips and pedals for example. Why did I get a new frame, a new bike? It was not the Trex Excalibur more bike than I could ever use? Well, yeah, but then again, I started reading some sizing charts and uh, reach charts and figuring out what my reach should be. And I realized I was riding too big of a bike. And when I rode in Sälen, I rode a medium bike and I felt how nimble it felt, even though it was a big enduro rig. I just felt more nimble, more correct with the reach and everything. So uh, that and it was an Abus 148 frame. Uh, it wasn't able to run a very big sh uh, shock fork. fork. And just all these small little, small little faults that was just picking at me. I went for a bigger front brake disc because I needed shorter bolts for the brake caliper. So I went to my bike store and they had bigger discs instead. So I bought a bigger disc. So now I got 203 mil in the front and 160 in the back. It's a bit weird, but it works for now. This is my home trail and this is where I do most of my biking. So having a full suspension bike for this, nah. Not really necessary, right? So I think this bike will be a good fit for mostly XC riding and a bit of downhill enduro when I feel like it. No problem. New bike, what a feeling. And I built it myself. The gratification. Oh man. Okay, let's build some speed. Oh, we're good on some br brushing, some shru brush brushing. Oh, yeah, if I could do this climb, I know it's a pretty good climber because that climb takes the life out of you. Woo. <laughs> yeah, a good brake modulation as you would expect from XT discs 
Well, riders, that was a nice ride. Oh, it feels so good to build something yourself and then ride it and it actually works. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of my adventures on this new bike, then please subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, I'll try to answer them. And also leave it in the comments if you want me to do a more in-depth bike check where I go through what parts I put on the bike and why I did it. Um, maybe that could be a fun vi video to watch. But anyway, thanks for riding with me today, and uh, I'll talk to you in a week or so. This has been Michael from Mike's Bike Rides. Bye for now.